Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to build a phase converter the cheap and easy way. And the reason I decided to do it this way and to make this video is there's not a lot of good information on YouTube on how to do this and all the detailed information you need and exactly the parts you'll need. So let's kind of start with what I got here. This one is a 10 horse rotary phase converter and I have my 10 horse motor here and what I did over here on the shaft is I took my big cutoff saw and just kind of manhandled it and cut that off uh, just so it's not quite so dangerous but it did take a little bit of effort to do that <clears throat> now some of the parts that you're gonna need is you're gonna need some type of box this one was just an old electrical box I had and I've added my plug and my start and stop switch and I left these breakers in here just kind of for um, an easy place to put my wires. You really don't need them. You could just wire tie everything together together if you wanted to. But the big part you're going to need is you're going to need some kind of switch. And this particular switch is a three-phase switch. And I'm only going to be using two legs of it. You're also going to need a start capacitor. And start capacitors are based on their size. And this particular one is 708 to 850. Now, if you're not using a 10 horse motor, you can go ahead and, and figure out what you need. You're going to need about 75 to 85 MFD uh, per horsepower of your motor. And then you're also going to need a potential relay. And this particular one, all these parts I got off eBay. Um, this potential relay was about $12 and this should work with any size motor you want but if you search for that PR9065 uh, you should be able to find it or something very similar and on these relays this one has more than it actually needs but there's a number on each one of these posts but we're only going to be using one, two, and five. And they're labeled on the top of these, which you won't be able to see, but you'll be able to see when you get yours. So let's go ahead and I'll kind of show you how I wired it up and how I'm how we make the third leg. So to start with, you want to bring your wire in, your 220 wire, and bring it into your switch and bring one leg up each side and then bring it out and I've brought them out and over into this breaker right here and we're just going to call each leg of the 220 L1 and the second one L2 and then the third leg that we're making will be L3 so on these particular breakers this will be L1 and L2 and this one is also L1 and L2 can you do that one more time so this will be L1 and L2 and this is also L1 and L2 so essentially these two are identical and these two are identical this is just my 220 coming in so <clears throat> I also have my outlet right here so let's just do I went ahead and grounded everything first before I got started. So I took the ground off my wire and grounded it to my box and then I also grounded my outlet which is this green wire running into my outlet. And just start by doing one leg at a time. So if you start with L1, bring one wire over up into your outlet. So now on your outlet you have 110 volts going right there and you also have <clears throat> 110 or your L1 going to your motor these three black wires here are my motor wires so that'd be L1 L2 and L3 the second wire of my motor goes into L2 and I, and I also ran a wire from L2 this white wire up into my outlet so now in our outlet we got 
110 here and 110 there. So now we need our third leg, and that's what we use the capacitors and the relays to make. So to do this, you're going to need a wire from your L1 and L2. So let's just start with L1. You're going to bring one wire, which is this, this red one here, down into your, your relay. And it has to get wired into, I think it's two. Uh, yep, that's the number two on your relay. Okay, and then your next wire, you're gonna bring out from L2 down to your capacitor, which is this wire right here. So come out of L2 and go down into your capacitor, and it doesn't matter which side. And then you're gonna bring a wire from the other side of the capacitor down into your relay, and that one has to get plugged in to the number one spot. Now, the number five on the back side is where your third leg comes out, which I made the yellow wire. So I also plug the motor, the L3, into that, number five, and then ran a yellow wire, which is the third leg, up into the outlet. So basically what happens is the 220 gets everything going, and then it takes that third leg down your capacitor into this relay, and the relay just keeps it going long enough to get the motor started, and then it, it kicks all this capacitor out, and then all you're left with is the motor running, running generating the third leg of power. And that's really pretty much basically it. Um, you don't have to set yours up like this. You don't have to do it exactly like this. This is just how I did it. You could also use the same concept and make a uh, static converter if you just wanted to run your machine off of it, but you're going to lose a third of your horsepower. So instead of using uh, another motor, you're just going to use your whatever machine you got, and, and it'd be wired up exactly the same. But this is... This is how you would build a three-phase uh, rotary converter, and I hope that works for you guys, and please comment and let me know what you think. Thanks.